have several rounds of rain. Now, no day will it be a complete washout, and this is going to come in waves, so this is not going to be a consistent rain the entire time. But our next potential for rain happens Saturday night, and the one after that happens late Monday into Monday night. This happens to fall right after the eclipse. And again, the threat for strong to severe storms. So Saturday night, we do have a slight risk for areas to the north along areas of the Red River and into Oklahoma. Hail, strong winds look to be the main concern. I'm not, I don't think we'll see too much in the way of severe weather here locally, but we could see some heavy rain. And this new at midday, we do have the potential to see some strong to severe storms late Monday. Okay, this is Monday evening, and it does highlight North Texas and it highlights areas of Oklahoma. This does happen to be in the path of totality. This does not happen at the same time. Totality is between 140 and 144 in the afternoon. This right now looks like it's going to be the storm potential late in the day. Why this is a big deal. Think of all of the people that are coming into town that probably aren't accustomed to Texas storms, especially in the spring. OK, so let's talk timing. This is late Saturday at midnight going into Sunday. These storms will start to our west. Storms will be fast moving and the threat is highest to the north. These storms will continue to move. This is now Sunday four in the morning across portions of DFW, maybe even south closer to the hill country, and then they'll push towards the southeast. Sunday 8 a.m. We're drying out. Cloud cover starts to clear for Sunday afternoon and evening on Monday. That's eclipse. So I'm going to put the totality track back on our map. This is really early. This is before the sun comes up. It's clear, but then as we go about the day, we'll start to see that cloud cover moving in. We have a south wind that's going to be pretty consistently bringing in Gulf moisture, and that's going to help develop cloud cover as the day goes on. So yeah, that does include the path of totality. I'm going to take you now to one in the afternoon between one and two. We're going to see showers and thunderstorms take shape to the southeast. Here's what I'm thinking. Clouds increase throughout the day. The rain during totality stays to the southeast. Best case scenario, we see some high thin cloud cover. Worst case scenario, we see some low clouds and thick cloud cover. Either way, it's going to get dark, but the high thin clouds will allow you to actually see at least totality. We'll see the moon moving over uh, the sun. We're going to then that evening be looking at this rain moving into North Texas, and it could cause the potential for strong to severe storms. So that's the deal with Monday. As far as our temperatures go, we're looking at low 70s, so rather comfortable in terms of, of temperatures. We're just going to have to pay very close attention to how close those storms are because we will have a lot of people outside during this time. So the partial eclipse begins at 1223. I'm thinking we do see some cloud cover. Total eclipse around 142, that 10% mostly to the southeast, so southeast of Navarro County. And the partial eclipse ends at 3. We'll see added cloud cover, and then the storm potential starts to ramp up late that day. So our 14-day forecast shows beautiful weather the next few days. We're talking low 70s today, upper 70s Thursday, 80 degrees on Friday. One round of rain Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then again late Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I need you to keep checking back in with us, of course, as we fine tune that forecast. We'll be back.